of not just blues, but hip hop, R&B, and rock. So this video and the next two videos are gonna cover some different aspects of the blues. The first thing that we're gonna do in this video is go over what a pentatonic scale is and a blue scale. And um, these are really unique scales because the pattern, no matter where you start them on your instrument, it stays the same. Um, so you don't have to learn any new complicated finger patterns. This you can use for um, creating solos over chords. And um, you may say, oh my gosh, that sounds like so much, but it's really actually quite straightforward if you learn the pentatonic or the blues scale patterns. So we're going to be using your PDF printout of the guitar book for this quarter. And you are going to be starting on the page that has to do with um, pentatonic and blue scales. I believe that is page 19. So have your book open to that and play along with me. First things first, when you hear the word pentatonic, what does the root word penta mean? It means five. So in a pentatonic scale, there are only five pitches that are being played, unlike a normal major scale or minor scale that has eight pitches being played. If you were to look at a piano keyboard, a pentatonic scale, really easy one, would be playing just the black keys. So um, we are going to do an A minor pentatonic scales, and we're going to do it two ways. We're going to first use open position where you're starting on an open string and then we're going to do closed position and this is the one where you can start on any fret and keep the finger pattern the same and go up and down your fretboard and still be playing a pentatonic scale. Okay so we're going to start with an A minor pentatonic scale in open position and you're going to start on your fifth string. And remember, the pentatonic scale only has five pitches. And in an A minor pentatonic scale, that's going to be A, C, D, E, and G. And then you repeat that same pattern all the way up your fretboard. So for an open position pentatonic scale, you're going to start on your open A. Then you're going to do third fret C then open D, second fret E, open G, second fret, first fret, third fret, open, open third fret, open E, third fret, first fret, second fret, open, second fret, see the pattern that's there and this is what helps make learning how to play this so easy is the pattern so it's open three open two open two one three open three open three one two open two open three open Okay, so now for the closed pentatonic scale, and on this one, you can use the same finger pattern on any fret you start on where you start with your first finger. So we're going to play the same pentatonic scale, A minor pentatonic, but this time we're going to start with the fifth fret on your 
your lowest string and then follow the pattern that is going to be one, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four, one, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one. So since we're starting on an A, this is an A minor pentatonic scale. However, you could do this as a G minor pentatonic scale by sliding your first finger back and starting on your third fret and do the same pattern. Since you're starting on a G, it becomes a G pentatonic scale, but the same finger pattern. One, three, one. that same pattern and you still have a pentatonic scale. Okay, so this is, I'm starting on my seventh fret, so it would be the same pattern. One, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four, one, four, one, three, three, one, three, one, four, one. Okay, so practice going up and down your fingerboard. Start on different frets with your first finger and just get that pattern and try it yourself a few times. Okay, now this time we are going to add one more note into the scale and turn it into a blues scale. While a pentatonic scale has five notes, a blues scale adds one more pitch to give it six notes. Six notes, all right? And the note that you add is um, the fourth or fifth scale degree if you were to do it as a regular scale and you flat that so we're gonna have flats in this but again if you look at the finger pattern you will notice that the finger pattern repeats up and down the fingerboard so we're gonna take our a minor pentatonic in closed position again so we're gonna start up here in the fifth fret so we start like we did before one four one except this time we're going to add in a flat which is two three one three one three three four do that one more time. Let's do this slowly and play it with me. Starting with your first fret, first finger in your fifth fret of your lowest string. One, four, one. This is where you add in the flat. Two, three, one, three, one, three. And then you add in another flat. with me one more time. One, four, one, two, three, one, three, one, three, four, one, four, one, four, one, four, one, four, three, one, three, one, three, two, practice those
those a few times until you can do them smoothly and you'll be playing the blues in no time at all. Thank you.